Well, let's now discuss this further with Dr. Charles Njunguna, a WHO incident manager for the Ebola outbreak in Uganda. He's joining us from Kampala. Hi there, doctor. Thank you so much for having us, for joining us on the program. New research, doctor, is suggesting that the Ebola virus currently circulating in the Ugandan outbreak has mutated. How does this impact Ebola response efforts? Thank you very much for having me. As you've mentioned, I'm Dr. Charles Njuguna, I'm the incident manager working with the WHO country office in Uganda. Uh, you may be aware that uh, the current outbreak that we are dealing with has been caused by the Sudan Ebola virus. And this is not the first time for this country to experience this particular strain. Uh, 10 years ago in 2012, we had this uh, particular virus again in Ruero district. And when you look at uh, the genetic uh, changes, they are not that much significant from what happened 10 years ago and what we are dealing at this point in time. That's why the existing laboratory confirmatory method were able to pick the virus because it has not significantly mutated from what we had 10 years ago. Doctor. Doctor, are we likely to see more mutations of the Ebola virus in the Ugandan outbreak? And if we were to, what would the concern be? At the moment, uh, we cannot say that uh, we are going to see mutation. This is something that uh, you cannot be able to predict. Uh, however, the current uh, Ebola strain that we are dealing with, our diagnostic capacities, they are able to pick this particular virus. Doctor, what's the progress in the quest to develop an effective vaccine against the Sudan strain of Ebola? Because that has been touted as something that could help. And what needs to be done in the meantime as treatment efforts are still going on? I want to make it absolutely clear that we do not have a vaccine for Sudan Ebola virus strain. We have had vaccine for the Zaire strain that has been used in West Africa and in DRC Congo. But for this particular strain, we do not have a vaccine. What is there is that there is some research work that is going on, what we call the clinical trials. There are six uh, products that are being tested, and uh, one of them is more advanced. It has it's now entering what we call uh, stage two of the clinical trial. Stage one is whereby they look at whether it is safe and it has been found to be safe. Uh, stage two is where they look at, they look at where to protect or confer immunity, what we call efficacy. That is what is going to happen. And uh, therefore the, 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 the availability of that particular new product what we call a candidate that is under investigation, candidate vaccine under investigation, will be available for research, but not really for outbreak control. 